Jana here from CourseBistro.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use quiz questions in Member Vault for lean market research, and also as a great way to develop a relationship with your customers, clients, and students. So here we are in Member Vault. I'm here under quiz answers. These are the questions that you put at the tail end of each lesson at the lesson level. These are not available on the module level or on the product level, but the lesson level. And anytime you ask questions at the end of those lessons, it'll show up here and it'll also show up with a bright number of how many quiz questions there are yet for you to process and look through. So someone who has looked at the hiring toolkit um, these are some basic questions and you want to be strategic about how you ask the types of questions at the end of each lesson, especially if you want to gather ideas for creating better and more resources uh, for future clients. And so we're just asking questions like what top qualities will you be watching for in a job candidates test project submission? What is your biggest question around hiring by personality type? So some of these can get at underlying fears, mindsets, things like that. You know, her response is, what if I hire more people like me? Will I gain the necessary perspective or pushback insight for various products or projects? So what we might want to do is put more language in our toolkit around hiring differently than yourself with these important points in mind to round out your skill set as a CEO or an executive virtual assistant or a project manager working for someone. If you're helping to do some hiring, you want to have team members who are actually more different than you than similar to you. Right here, we have uh, which part of writing a job description is most difficult to you and, and why. And so when we read the responses, one, we can check that we've read the response. Two, we can reply back to the person who answered the question in real time without going out to our email provider or getting into our own email account. You can email them back right here, which is a great way to build a relationship with those students. And another great feature in here in Member Vault is that if you want to download all these responses, you just click here and it downloads it into a spreadsheet for you. But what I want to do here is look at and mine out of these answers, what would be some great things that we could create in the future? This is how you get the best, most authentic uh, feedback on the resources that you created and what resources they still need in order to move forward in a hiring capacity since this is around a hiring toolkit. And so she's saying here, right now I wear all the hats. I'm a Jill of all trades, knowing what to let go of first that is significant enough for someone else to do to do the role makes it hard for me to describe what jobs it is I'm asking someone to do. So letting go, this is a, a big key here. We should maybe do a, uh, a resource or a self-coaching guide or something on how to let it go, what types of tasks to let go to help someone identify what things they continue to do that could be outsourced to someone else. Let's keep reading here. And I don't know yet how much work I need for someone to do. So maybe an assessment guide on how to help someone identify what tasks they need to let go of and how much time it takes them to do, how many hours or how many weeks. She's unsure how long it would take someone else to do it. So her first step might be identifying how much time it takes herself to do it and then maybe multiplying that by 1.5 because a person she's outsourcing it to might take a little bit longer than than it would take her to do something. And then her own lack of clarity on a role and the level of work that that may develop makes it almost impossible for her to write a job description. And so I know that part of the, the hiring toolkit includes a job description template. So I know that piece is already in there, but maybe helping them to identify the role and the level of work, how many hours it's going to take, maybe a resource around that would be a great thing for me to create. So these quiz questions gives you a ton of insight and ideas if you'll analyze them and look at what resources can be created. What's the biggest barrier or resistance you have to hiring someone? This gets at an underlying motivation or fear or mindset that you want to drill out of someone. So she's saying, I don't know exactly what I need someone to do. I've hired poorly in the past, so I'm gun shy. So maybe a resource around what to do if you've hired poorly in the past to, to help people get past and push past that fear of making a poor hire in the future. I am not a great communicator about what needs doing. So maybe even a resource to help clarify what needs doing in a new hire to just help them 
give them that extra level of support and confidence in the hiring process. And in my desire not to micromanage, I'm too hands off. So maybe even something around micromanaging, how to keep from micromanaging and how to release tasks to a new hire. I don't know how to set the pay structure. This would be a great resource. How to set the pay structure for a, a new hire or a new position. So all of these quiz questions give us great insights into the fears, struggles, mindset issues, obstacles people have around the topic at hand so that you can create more and better resources to help them. So I hope that helps you to better understand how to use quiz questions, both for lean market research and to identify better with your ideal student and to build relationships with them by replying back to their specific needs.